Welcome to the Saturday Show, Series 4, Episode 6. Please welcome your host, the one, the only, Jake Moyes on this General Election Special. Voting UKIP to stop this country's rot. Folks say I'm a racist, but I tell them that I'm not. Now they're the party that suits me. They're sort of like the BNP, but not the Liberal and PC. That's why I'm voting UKIP. There's far too many human rights for foreigners and sodomites, and not enough for straight rich whites. That's why I'm voting UKIP. We are UKIP voters, and we've got to make a stand against the bureaucratic hand of Brussels, France, and Bongoland. They'll force us to eat frog and snail and make us wear a muslin veil. I read it in the Daily Mail. That's why I'm voting UKIP. I can't abide those foreign ways, that smelly garlic mayonnaise, the climate's ruined cause of gays, that's why I'm voting UKIP. It makes me fume that we allow those people to get married now, cause that affects my life somehow, that's why I'm voting UKIP. I'll use my patriotic voice to save this land of mine. Decent sausages and wine, the shit they make here suits me fine. I miss the days your wife was yours to have and hold and keep indoors. My granddad died in both world wars. That's why I'm voting you, kid. Welcome to the Saturday Show General Election Special. Um, you saw or you heard there is a UKIP song um, for someone who was voting UKIP. Uh, so it's the General Election Week. We'll uh, speak on that in a minute. But first of all, let's start off with the top 10. Number 10, we've got the one by Codeline. 9, Firestone by Kaigo featuring Corn and Cereal. Uh, 8, Dear Future Husband. Megan Trainer, seven trouble Iggy Zayla, six sugar Maroon Five Hoysia, take new churches at five if you love me like you do Emily Golding at four, I really 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 like you is at three with Carly Ray Jepsen at two is Chili is a well I am me but at one it's see you again by Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Puth, yes yeah, so like I say um this week was general election um, was the actual part of the general election and overall the Conservatives won so I'm, I'm filming this on a Friday night it goes out on a Saturday but um, I'm talking it as the Friday night now um, so today we found that the Conservatives or the Tories uh, won um, so that just proves that our nation is rubbish because why do we want David Cameron in charge of our country. The only thing good about David Cameron <laughs> is that he's good friends with uh, Jeremy Clarkson, who also is a top lad. But no, our country decided that we wouldn't want Conservatives to win. And if I was old enough, I would be voting UKIP because we need to tighten up our borders. Um, we need to sort our country out. They may say that they're racist. They may think that they're racist. You may think they're racist, but if, we, if we're going to get something sorted in this country, you kid, we're going to do that. And bam, then, as Conservatives won, uh, then the three other main party leaders have resigned. Nick Clegg, his step down. Uh, Ed Miliband, his step down. Nigel Farage, his step down as well, which is a shame. But Nigel Farage has been the UKIP leader, you know, for a long time. And while we're on the subject of Ed Miliband, a lot of girls have been saying this week, oh, I want Ed Miliband to win because he's hot. What is hot, okay? What is hot about Ed Miliband? Okay, Ed Miliband. So let's just get Ed Miliband's face up, okay? 
and you can tell me what's hot about that. Ed Miliband is not a hot person. Okay, so let's just go to images of Ed Miliband. Um, come on, load up. Um, yeah, Ed Miliband, okay? The girls are saying that he think, they think Ed Miliband is a gorgeous, gorgeous man that they want to run the country. Um, well, I uh, hate to say it, girls, but, um, do you actually want this man to be your leader? And do you think he's fit? That man. That man. That's Ed Miliband, who has resigned this week as Labour leader. And girls have been saying he's fit. What is fit about that? No, it's, it's just wrong. Um, it, but it's quite a sad thing that them leaders have stepped down, because they are... You know, Ed Miliband, I don't know why he stepped down. He was second. He was second. Conservative just beat him about 4% or something. Uh, Nigel Farage. Uh, we're not going to get any better without him, are we, UK leaders? Um, because without Nigel, is there any other s people that speak out like him in the world that aren't scared to say it? Because I know if I was old enough, I'd, I'd be a new Nigel Farage. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about the election. I'm disappointed that the Tories won, but what can I do? Next election I'll be able to vote, so I'll be voting you, Gip, as the man said on his little um, banjo. Anyway, uh, another Mock of the Week round here, and this week's uh, uh, com stand-up comedy thing goes to football. Now, I'm a Manchester United supporter. And we've been losing quite a lot recently. And one uh, one time which we lost was actually last week. Um, I thought to myself when I read this in the headlines, no wonder we've lost because we've got a man called Blind in defence. Okay? Oh, let's put Blind in defence. It don't matter if his name is spelt Blind. It don't matter if he is Blind. We'll just put him in the team so people can make a joke that we put Blind in our team. Um, so, if we want to win, um, what's your name? Louis Van Gaal, whatever, whatever your name is. Uh, if you're watching, don't play Blind in defence. We are not going to win because someone is Blind in Defence. Why can't we have a goalie called Save or something, or or a, or a striker called Score? But no, we've got a defence. We've got a defender called Blind. Um, so that is just you know. Let's call our defender Blind. He's called Blind. Let's put him in the team. He sounds like Ed Miliband. At least I tried. Um, but apart. from that I've just got to go back down back down the uh, line now to play you uh, last last week's um last week's guess the celebrity and last week I played you this voice guess this yo bros and sisters welcome to unemployment tube where tonight we're going to cook a shepherd's pie you and that me was Mr. Jesus May uh, so lovely uh, now, I bet you can't guess this chap. Okay. Uh, let's just get him up. They see a banking regime and a regulatory regime that makes London too expensive a place to do All business. Right. And what I'm arguing is this. Financial services are Britain's biggest industry. We made a massive mistake giving control of the banks away from the Bank of England. That's a bit of an easy one this week again. But um, this week's funny bits of TV goes to news always with Jeremy Clarkson, which is back on our screens hopefully soon, because uh, there's been images of him filming a new programme. But thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you with a bang of power. Please watch it. Ta da, people. Ta da. I go voting UKIP to stop this country's rot. Folks say I'm a racist, but I tell them that I'm not. Now they're the party that suits me. They're sort of like the PNP, but not the liberal on PC. 
That's why I'm voting UKIP. 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 Somehow that's why I'm voting UKIP. I'll use my patriotic voice to save this land of mine. From decent sausages and wine, the shit they make here suits me fine. I miss the days your wife was yours to have an hold and keep indoors. My granddad died in both world wars. That's why I'm voting you. When I said Jeremy Clarkson, but I think this is more suitable for what we've been talking about. Another coalition fucks a might my vision. Who wins is my decision. Or it could be mine. Or mine. 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 No? Come on, guys. The voters gonna hate, 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 hate. None of us they rate, 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 rate. Now I pretend that I'm the mate, 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 mate. <laughs> we put the voters off. Will the wall? I know you wanna punch my face. And you think I'm a wave of faith. Yes, we do, Ed. Whichever one of us you choose. Not you, Clay. The whole country's gonna lose. Mm-hmm. But let's make one thing clear. Things might be bad here. But look at North Korea. No voting here at all. Stick your hand against the wall. Jump. We're all so bloody lame, 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 Yes, you are. You really can't be blamed, blame, 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 blame. Yes, you can. If you think we're all the same, 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 same. We put the voters off. The vote of all. So you go to the polls, 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 polls. It's like the souls, 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 souls. Vote you kid. Vote you kid. Vote you kid. Lame, 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 lame. You really can't.